Young men, listen to me. Listen to my advice. I have been managing hair loss and doing hair transplants for over 18 years now. And know by now for sure that hair loss progression has no pity whatsoever. It does not wait for you to get your strategy in place. After a bundle of poor decisions, poor choices. And hair loss doesn't play fair. It takes no prisoners, shows no mercy and offers no negotiations. It marches on relentlessly and every moment of hesitation, every moment of procrastination is precious time wasted. At 23 or 30, if you have the androgenic alopecia gene and baldness has expressed itself, time is of the essence. Time is your most valuable asset at this moment of time. Missing the train now could mean years of regret and the emotional component, it clouds your judgment. Rash decisions come from fear, not from strategy. It is only strategy, not emotions, not fear that will give you control over your hair loss. And in this video, I'm going to touch again on that very raw, very tender part of yours, your fear of finasteride. But I'll also give you insights into how to tackle it, how to strategize your hair loss treatment and how to make the best of your hair transplant. Imagine waking up one morning, running your hand through your hair and feeling less of it. Now imagine this isn't a nightmare, a dream that you saw, it's reality. Either you embrace the reality or do something about it. For millions of young men, hair loss sneaks in like a thief at night, stealing your confidence strand by strand. But what if I told you that one little pill taken intelligently, taken safely, taken effectively could be your greatest defense? Stick around to find out if it's worth the risk. Welcome back to the channel. Today I tackle a hot topic in the field of hair loss, finasteride, from another angle, from another perspective. Specifically, we'll dive deep into microdosing, a raging topic on the forums. Is it the magic bullet that people claim it to be? Or are you just playing a dangerous game? Russian roulette with your hair loss. Today we'll explore science, we'll explore strategy, and surprising truths you don't want to miss. Sanjay, a 23 year old, art student in Chandigarh and my patient for hair loss first noticed his thinning temples during a family photo shoot. Stress, he thought, first thing that came to his mind. He had had a rough year in college and even personally. Fast forward a year and his widening forehead became the star of every picture, much, much to his dismay. Friends and family hinted at his mature look. Behind this realization though, was a growing storm of self-doubt. Does this sound familiar? Hair loss isn't just a cosmetic issue. It's an emotional battle. A recent study published in the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology confirms that finasteride works best when started young. Early action taken to control your hair loss through appropriate medication could be the difference between reclaiming your hair or regret that won't leave you for a lifetime. Now let's cut the chase. Microdosing finasteride is a trend everybody is buzzing about. Lower doses, fewer side effects, similar results. Or so they say. But what if I told you many men swearing by microdosing might not need the drug at all. Their hair loss gene might have already switched off. Here's a true story again. Sahil, a friend of Sanjay, also from Chandigarh, tried microdosing at the age of 23 for a year. And one day he stopped the medication entirely. Nothing happened. Why? His hair loss had plateaued naturally. There are so many influences that make your genes behave the way they do. Cut out on stress, cut out on environmental influences which are deleterious to your hair and your baldness may stabilize even at an early stage. Thinking that 0.2 milligram of finasteride that you take as microdose has done that is living in fool's paradise. But for somebody like Sanjay, his friend, who's diametrically opposite, the baldness hasn't stabilized yet. Baldness is very aggressive. It's like a raging forest fire. Microdosing, if he starts to do, will be like trying to stop this fire with a mere garden pipe, a garden hose. If you're under 25 and your hairline is receding, like the tide before a tsunami, there is no time to lose. Studies show that starting with a full dose of one milligram finasteride every day can stabilize shedding, can stabilize your hair loss, within a matter of six months. Think of this strategy similar to fortifying your defenses before lowering your guard for the night. Once the battle is under control, you can reassess your strategy. If all goes well, tapering to one milligram finasteride on alternate days or even lower doses 
becomes a safer option. At least things are under control. You can now even try 0.2 milligram on a daily basis or even on alternate basis and give it a shot because things are under control. You have taken charge of your hair loss and now you have the freedom to explore microdosing. By starting strong, you buy yourself time. You buy yourself options. Now, on the other hand, imagine starting with microdosing if you're 25 years old with a strong family history of baldness and raging progression of baldness and it doesn't respond and you gradually over periods of four to six months keep building up on the doses. Remember, hair loss doesn't play fair. It takes no prisoners. It shows no mercy. It carries on regardless. No pity to you. It offers no negotiations. It marches on relentlessly and every moment of hesitation, every moment of procrastination you have to pay for. Yes, microdosing is a luxury, one that only those who are above 35 years of age can afford to indulge in, not a 25 year old with raging baldness. Why? Because if you're 35, your hair loss as it is, is on its way to stabilizing. Your gene is about to go to sleep, about to switch off. Well, this happens in most cases. And this gives you at this age of 35, time to strategize, which you don't have when you're 25. At 25 or even at 30, this luxury is a mirage. Time is your greatest enemy and hesitation feeds it. So you might well ask now that Dr. OK, I believe your advice. I will do what you want. But what about the side effects that seem so real? Now let us address this elephant in the room side effects. Side effects due to finasteride. Yes, finasteride does have side effects and some of them are quite alarming. Sexual dysfunction, mood changes, brain fog, breast tenderness are real concerns. There is no denying this fact. But here's the good news. Very few people who have been counseled properly, who have been investigated, in the laboratory, research shows that side effects with finasteride are very few and far between. Regular check-ins with the doctor are key. Remember Sanjay, our protagonist of this talk, one night he felt unusually fatigued. He panicked, but he gave us a call. We explained to him that this is not the side effect that anybody could experience from finasteride. You surf the internet and people are talking so much, mostly rubbish about the drug. Together we reviewed his uh, data that was available with us, his symptoms, his lab work, and he stayed calm, stayed informed and stayed on track. So a hotline with your clinic, a hotline with your doctor is essential when you're on drugs in the long term. Hair isn't just keratin. It's your confidence, your identity, your reflection in the mirror. When my hair stabilized, Sanjay said to me, I stopped avoiding mirrors. I made peace with myself. I got my smile back. So finding your sweet spot with finasteride takes time. Start with the full dosage, monitor your progress and adjust every four to six months. Remember pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics vary from person to person. What works for one person might not for another. Patience and personalization are your best friends when you're on finasteride. Finasteride is a powerful tool. Though microdosing might sound tempting, but it's not always the smartest play, especially when you're 25 and your hair loss is in full swing. Start strong, start smart and put yourself in control. Time is ticking. The mirror waits for no man. If Sanjay can regain his confidence, so can you. So if you like this video, do subscribe. If you have any questions for me about finasteride, finasteride side effects, hair loss treatment for men and women, do leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you shortly. For all the videos that I've done on finasteride, there's a link in the description box below and kindly go through them. They will be very helpful, I can assure you. Have a nice day and may God bless you.